Professor Lee, you have yes. told us that Germany is a sort of hidden champion in the industry 4.0. Uh, why that? Well, manufacturing, right, is in general is a is, is broad term in many ways, but uh, uh, it depends on many small and strong, uh, dedicated, committed industries. I think Germany has been well known in this uh, called metal stand. It's called hidden champion and to making devices, machines, and uh, some of us special components. Uh, but in 4.0, it's not a one-time success, it's continuous kind of improvements. You need a strong base to support long-term growth. So I think in this area, German uh, engineers and Germany have good foundation, but next level will be how do you connect to customers' gaps from what we know and to identify something we have not seen. But these gaps, if you can build another hidden champion later, that's called the smart and, uh, and uh, I would say smart future, right? So you have a base already, you build more, but that would be a very good next level for Germany to grow. Yeah. Globally, which continent is leading in IoT? I don't think there's any particular continent, but I think they'll de depend on the what level. For example, on the sensor device level, uh, Japan is very strong making all kinds of scientific sensors. Germany is very good instrumentation sensors. US is making a lot of a smart uh, MEM sensors as well. But on the application side, I think Japan is focused on more a, a precision measurement. Germany is connected that the IoT into machine for production. But U.S. connect to industrial and the eco and a lot of a diversified industry systems. But I think from technology point of view, Japan, U.S. and Germany, they are, they are strong in different ways. But in terms of growth of a market, I think China and Southeast Asia differ is the one. Because they have a major gaps need to uh, further improve. Uh, in order to uh, improve these gaps, they got use IoT. So China is leading many opportunities. South is Asia is coming as well. So I, I think that the, for the future growth, definitely Asia is a big market.